Viagra and the other FDA-approved pills for the treatment of erectile dysfunction truly revolutionize the way we urologists treat erectile dysfunction. However, they don't work for everyone. In fact, at most, they probably only handle about 60 to 65 percent of our patients. That leaves a lot of men very frustrated. Fortunately, there is an even more potent, more powerful remedy for erectile dysfunction than these pills, and it works in about 80 percent of patients with very reliable results. What I'm speaking about is an injection therapy. Penile injection therapy has actually been around longer than Viagra or the other pills, but it has become even more popular now that men have had the courage to come out and speak about their condition. Although the thought of an injection is a somewhat disconcerting or scary thought, in this case the injection is quite tiny. This is the syringe that is used and at the tip of it is a very tiny caliber needle. It's probably very hard to see. It's the same kind of needle that women will use to inject Botox for wrinkles. It's quite easy to withstand. And the amount of medication that's injected is tiny, just a small fraction of the volume of the syringe. The injection is inserted in the shaft of the penis. The shaft of the penis is kind of like the earlobe or the elbow. It's an area where there's not a lot of dense nerves so it doesn't hurt very much, unlike the much more sensitive glands of the penis, and this is not where the shot is injected. The patient learns to inject himself, and after a visit or two in our office, he is confident and able to do this easily. It takes just a few moments to give the injection, and it gets to work within about 5 to 15 minutes. The expected results are a strong, reliable erection that lasts anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Penile injection therapy utilizes one of several different medications. There is an FDA-approved medication on the market known as Caverject. This is prostaglandin, and it is typically injected in doses of 5, 10, or 20 micrograms, occasionally 40 micrograms. Prostaglandin as a single ingredient is very effective but it does have a tendency to cause an increased amount of soreness in the penis while it is active. It is also in rather short supply these days. Most urologists, including myself, use a combination of prostaglandin and other agents. These combinations are known as bimix or trimix. The other ingredients that we'll add to prostaglandin include phentolamine and papaverin. The combination of the three is synergistic so that less of each of those drugs is required to result in a firmer erection with less soreness. Now there are some risks with this treatment, as is true with any treatment, but the risk profile is low. One of the risks is bleeding in the urethra if the injection is inserted improperly. It's always important to inject the penis on the side of the shaft never in the undersurface where the urethra runs. This is the channel that the urine runs through. And if the medicine is injected into this part of the penis, it may cause some bleeding in the urine, but it probably will not cause an erection. The other area that you want to avoid is on the top of the penis. This is where the deep artery and veins and nerves run. Here too, there is an increased bleeding risk and less likely of a chance for any effective result. So injecting on the side of the penis is key, but it's also important to move the sites of injections around, alternating sides of the penis and alternating locations so that you don't build up a single area that has a higher propensity to form a scar. If a scar forms, there may be a slight angulation that forms in that area as well. But with proper technique, these risks are really mitigated. Another risk is that there may be an achy sensation for the duration of the erection. This is really an annoyance rather than a risk, but it's important to understand that if a person experiences that achiness, it does not mean that anything is going wrong. The most important risk to watch for is an excessively long-lasting erection, an erection that lasts three or more hours. This is termed priapism. Now, that may seem like a good idea at first, but it really is a case of too much of a good thing. 
An erection is blood that is trapped in the penis. And if it's trapped there too long, it runs out of its oxygen and the tissues of the penis start to become injured because they're not receiving the oxygen they require. In a case of an erection lasting three or more hours, it is important to seek medical advice immediately. There is a simple antidote injection that can be given in the doctor's office or in the emergency room setting, depending on the time when this may occur. And in some cases, irrigation and evacuation of blood from the penis may be required. If a priapism is allowed to last for too long, these simple maneuvers may not be effective and a more formal surgery may be required to allow the penis to drain properly. This complication can usually be avoided by setting the dose of the medication properly. In our practice, we recommend that patients begin with a very low dose of medication, even if it doesn't cause a sufficient erection for the first one or two injections that's no problem because the patient can easily titrate up the dose in increasing increments until he reaches the desired effect. Unlike pills which come in one or two sizes for all, that is a medium and a strong dose, injection therapy has a much larger range of dosing. In fact, not only can the patient inject larger volumes of medication, the actual concentration of the medication he's injecting can be doubled or tripled. So in most cases, the appropriate dose can be found for even the harder to treat patients. But it's always important not to overshoot and start at a low dose and work one's way up to a higher dose. If a man experiences priapism after an injection, prior to going to the doctor's office or the emergency room, there are some maneuvers that may allow the erection to come down. It's certainly important for the man to attempt to climax because there is a release of sympathetic nerves that allow the erection to go down after sexual climax. Additionally, the use of Sudafed or nasal spray neosinephrine can also bring the erection down by a similar mechanism. And finally, ice applied to the penis and the perineum, which is the area between the scrotum and the anus, can in many cases help bring the erection down. But the key is not to delay due to embarrassment or inconvenience. The sooner it is addressed, the sooner it will resolve. For patients using injection therapy, all that is required is the medication and a means for injecting it. An alternative to using a traditional syringe and needle is using the Inject-Direct auto-injector. The features of this device are that it not only injects the needle automatically, it also deploys the plunger. So all the patient has to do is position this against his penis and press the little button at the end. The Injectorect takes care of the rest. The medication comes from the pharmacy and it is mixed according to the specifications of the prescribing physician. The medication must remain refrigerated or cooled and it must remain sterile. Between uses, the top of the canister should be wiped off with alcohol to keep the medication inside sterile and Fresh needles and syringes must always be used with each injection. Never reuse a syringe or needle. If a patient is traveling, he can take the medication with him in a convenient travel pack. This allows for refrigeration with an ice pack. There's an area for disposal of the needle safely, and the syringe and the medication fit easily right into the travel package. Most of the time, the medication will be stored at home, and just storing it in a typical refrigerator shelf will be sufficient. Penile injection therapy is very effective and works for most people. However, it is not for everyone. In some cases, the underlying condition is too severe for penile injection therapy to work. This is especially true in the case of a severe penile leak condition. In other cases, it is unadvisable to use penile injection therapy. And that would be in a situation where a patient has already been found to be prone to getting priapism. Some patients with sickle cell anemia are prone to priapism and penile injection therapy can severely aggravate that. If a patient already has a penile prosthesis, he should not use injection therapy as that can damage or infect the underlying prosthesis. For the majority of patients, however, penile injection therapy is safe and effective. My patients obtain their penile injection therapy from University Compounding Pharmacy in San Diego. 
University Compounding Pharmacy provides bimix or trimix in a variety of formulations according to the specific needs of my patients. They supply the medication pre-mixed according to my specifications and it is shipped directly to the patient in a cold pack. They also provide syringes and needles. And if the patient desires, they can provide an auto-injector called the Injectorect. This allows both the insertion of the needle and the plunging of the syringe to be performed with a simple touch of a button. University Compounding Pharmacy in San Diego has provided my patients satisfactory service for as long as I've been working with them.